Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. Welcome to my show. My name's Jake. It's almost Thursday. I've, I've got a new beer for you. Um, by the time this comes out, it will be Thursday. So that's great. You can find me at TubaJake underscore 69 on Untapped YouTube and Twitter on Instagram. I am TubaJake underscore. Um, so, you know, just drop off a 69 and you got me, apparently. Um, so the beer I've got for you today is Corner Man. It's Red Ale by Brew Detroit. Um, hopefully it's pretty good. I, the stuff that I've had from these guys, it's really good. So um, let's, uh, let's get it going. So it's a red ale, so it should be kind of toasty, uh, roasty. Um, oh, I was expecting a little bit more foam on that. I don't know how old this is. Uh, I think I got this from uh, from down there in in at Horrocks. Should pour all right. Usually there's a little bit of a head. I guess really I'm used to. Killian's and that's more of a, a red lager than it is a an ale so I guess it's okay that it doesn't have as much head which that's fine it's a little bit older than the than the date on the bottom that's fine I'll, I'll live with that um it's kind of what I'm expecting got the red roasty malty looking stuff here uh kind of a tan head on the top smells a little bit fruity um it's it's just the way that the grains make it smell it smells fruity that's what they do uh Killian's smells fruity if you haven't noticed it does um whew. let's see what this is roasty toasty full-bodied it's great this is this is a red ale. It's it's delicious. Um, I like these. 5.2% uh, ABV, so it's not too heavy. It's actually more toward the light side that, that you usually see things, which is nice. I like that. I think the reason that I picked this one above the other one that I was thinking I was going to have today is because this one is 5.2 and that one was 5.5. This is a really good beer for hanging out. And not drinking many, because um, if you drink too many of these, they're, they're, okay, so it's not a heavy beer, but it sits heavy, um, which doesn't mean that it's going to get you drunk, it's just going to make you full. So there's that. Uh, yeah, that the roasty toasty, it makes it feel like you're drinking bread, which I mean, really, kind of you are. Because most of the stuff that goes into bread, that's what goes into beer. Yeast, um, grain, water, spread. <laughs> um, this is exactly what it's supposed to be. Is there a beer that this reminds me of? Obviously, uh, Killian's. Because um, I've said it at least twice already. Is there another red ale that I can think of? Um... I'm sure that Guinness has one out there, like a bass or something like that, but from the Guinness Harp, from the Guinness Brewery there. Um, but this reminds me a lot of Killian's, because I've had a lot of Killian's. I had absolutely no idea what story I was going to tell on, uh, on this when I started this out today. Um, but because of the Killians, I've got a pretty good idea. Okay, so when I was a camp counselor, um, like the first couple of years, it was all right. We'd go and, and I'd hang out down in Mount Pleasant on our, on our night off because we'd get a, a night off, which was essentially like Wednesday night, we'd get done at um, just after dinner. So like six o'clock, we'd get done and then we'd have until midnight and then we'd have to be back. But otherwise, You've got to be at camp for the rest of every other time. I mean, technically you don't. You have like from nine until midnight to be out and around. Not a whole lot of places you can go because camps is camps. What twenty minutes, twenty miles from from anything that you would want to go do anyway. So 
it makes it so that you can actually go out. Like I could actually go to Mount Pleasant, which was a solid 20 minutes. It says that it's 20 miles from Mount Pleasant to Clare, but that's from the north end of Mount Pleasant to the south end of Clare. And Camp Rotary is not on the south end of Clare. It may actually be the last address in Clare, so far as going north goes. Um, but, so it's a lot farther away, uh, is my point. Um, so we'd go, I'd, I'd go down to Mount Pleasant like once a week, probably, maybe not. I don't, it just depends upon what I wanted to do, play video games, whatever, sit around, do nothing, go to a campfire, because, I mean, it's Boy Scout camp, so... There were usually scouts having a campfire someplace, or the staff might have a campfire. Which was all well and good. And then, um, my brother came to camp, and that year, um, our program director was different. I mean, he was a different program director, obviously. Uh, but also, um, he was not the same kind of guy that we had had before. Um, Mike had had an interesting youth experience, let's say. I mean, he was a Marine that had obvious tattoos that were magic mushrooms, um, which makes that a little bit more interesting, I guess. But he, he really pulled the staff together. Um, he was fun to hang out with. And we did. I mean, the dude's like my age, so good, good times. It was, it was a great, and it was a great staff too. Um, lots of those guys that that I that I was on staff with that year, I'm still friends with. They weren't necessarily the ones that went drinking with me then, um, except for my brother because he was old enough to do that, and we did. Um, It was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, but that brings me back to Killian's. Um, the uh, the other person that we liked to go drinking with was uh, Mike Bingham. Um, he's a pretty cool dude. Um, pretty big, but also like 60-ish probably when we started going out, but like bright white hair. Um, Mike used to he make fun of himself for being a ginger because his hair used to be red. I uh, had a propensity for... Um, alliterations that were really super funny um like uh, i don't remember what all it was but it had something to do with taking a flying fuck through a rolling donut um but it was all peas but i don't remember how it goes i just remember thinking oh that's really funny because it means that but i mean I, I don't remember all of those p words um mike liked killian's So generally, that's what we got. Um, Mike would buy the first round, and everybody would be like, oh, cool, I'll have a picture of Killian's. Everybody, all of those people, I'll have a picture of Killian's, because that's what we wanted. Um, the one place that we went had um, had table kegs, so they'd fill up a glass thing with, uh, with beer. Actually, it was like about this big round, and just like go up, and you'd pour out the beer, and you'd drink the beer. And it was, we had all of them at one point. We had six of them on our tables because um, everybody wanted one. <laughs> Eventually they broke or they just said, you can't have any because you used them all. I mean, we did. We, we used them and we would empty them before we'd leave. Paid for everything. Or at the very least, Mike made sure we paid for everything. Bingham, not... Well, I think Harrier did too, actually. I think both of them did. Um, but I usually end up paying my fair share. So it was... That staff, it, it was... Whew! There were some nights. Um, a lot of Wednesdays, there were a few people who were not ready to start the morning, in the morning. So we decided to make it so that we had to start the morning in the morning. Um, and that was a great idea and kind of fun also. Uh, 
<sighs> Miss those guys. I like seeing them. For sure. Good times. All of them. So anyway, I have a quote for you. This one is from Sugar Ray Robinson, which I figured went well with the uh, Corner Man Red Ale because um, Sugar Ray Robinson was a boxer. He said, to be a champ, you have to believe in yourself when nobody else will. So if you believe you can, you can, apparently. Be the champ. Be all that you can be. Keep going and going and going. Um, anyway, um, don't forget you can find me on Untap YouTube and Twitter, all at TubaJake underscore 69. On Instagram, I'm TubaJake underscore. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can hear my stories. I like telling stories. Hopefully you like hearing them because I'm going to tell you stories. Uh, they might be the same story. They might be the same story, but a little bit different. Uh, they might be just a big circle. I don't know exactly how this works. Um, I just I just tell the stories. Uh, so anyway, I will see you next time when you got time for a beer. <laughs>